Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. Always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakman. I will begin right here in Nigeria where lately all we've been talking about is table tennis. That's one sport that's on the rise and Nigeria keeps doing big things. You know the latest uh, IWTF rankings released? Nigeria now ranks 24th in the world. The story got sweeter because Nigeria is now ahead of Egypt that is ranked 29th in the world. So table tennis keep doing big things. Okay, and of course you know that it, Nigeria is actually the highest ranked team in Africa. That's so right. number one in Africa and 24th mm -hmm. in the world. So it's a big, big, huge one for table tennis in Nigeria. Okay, right now let's go straight to football. What happened last night? Well, the first two are into the quarterfinals. You have, of course, Real Madrid, a team that have won it 12 times, and Wolfsburg for the first time getting into the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. But for Real Madrid, well, analysts are saying for them to actually win the title again this season, they will have to fix their defense. Hmm, that's what it is. Very, mm -hmm. very important. So Real Madrid, are for sure, it's looking like they're going to go through, and then Wolfsburg also advancing. But uh, tonight, the story uh, we continue the UEFA Champions League with Chelsea and PSG. Cecilia, no, no tell me, where I put your money? <laughs> Chelsea, <laughs> PSG. Oh, Zlatan said something this morning that, well, he would really love to win the Champions League. Hmm. And that's something he's dreaming about, just winning with PSG and all that. But can he do that? I don't think so. I think my money's in Chelsea. That's right. I'll stick on my neck for that. I think Chelsea will do everything possible to to make it to the next round of the FA Champions League. Okay, let's quickly um, tell you that story. Nigeria now ranked 24th in the, in the world in table tennis. Yeah. And the best team in Fantastic. Africa. I don't know what the best individual male tennis, table tennis player. Nigeria now pushing Egypt aside. Last night on the show, the guys were saying, these are good signs of uh, football. <laughs> table tennis can <laughs> push Egypt to the side and we can do the same thing on uh, the 25th okay, with the football. Okay, what's Nigeria ranked in FIFA ranking? Tell me. So she, 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 like, we're talking about the rankings. No, just I mean, saying, you, you just, just talked about the fact that table tennis pushed uh, Egypt, you know, down, down simply because of what they've been doing in the past well, let me use the word one year. Hmm. I mean, just I'm you're going to stick with recently. I mean, when, when, when you have players who will actually go through any length to get victory, that's what I love. But I, I'm not sure Super Eagles players will pay their way down to camp and, you know, play a game and go back and nothing comes out. Hmm. <laughs> it's not going to happen, right? Uh, no. Will it ever happen? Uh, well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Will but it it's happened before. Yeah. But I don't know if it's going to happen now. But it does happen. Now. So now, if table tennis could do that, so it shows that they want something and they are going all out to get it. Mm. So, and that's the reward you're seeing. And reflecting the ranking. They used to be this successful talking about table tennis and they went down. So, so they saw the need to come back and they're doing that. I think that should also be uh, a the super focus goes yeah, for, for, for football. 60 second in the world rankings for football. Even bad, Cecilia. It's football, remember. It's, it's, it's okay. more competitive. When, when, when than you table say, tennis. no, no, I understand where you're coming from in terms of administration. Table tennis has been stable. Table tennis, they are focused. They've been doing so much for grassroots development. We see a lot of competitions. Yeah, football does that also. But what I want to take out of this is we're going to play Egypt on the 21st or the 25th in Kaduna. If table tennis can push Egypt aside, football should do the same. That's good motivation. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Let, let me just uh, uh, accept that. Uh, yeah, if, please, if I want you to. Be I, I'll just uh, accept <laughs> that. Uh, it's, it's, it's just that you know, when, when you look at Nigeria and you look at what's happening, you look at other sports and you look at the focus of certain sports, you think the, the kind of attention that is being given to that particular sport, mm. the kind of money that is being pumped in, it should no. reflect, but it's not yeah. reflecting. Well, for not just only the men, I mean, the women also had their ranking right now, they are ranked 40th in the world well uh literally go down i mean this is not really good mm. uh, egypt and women rank 29th and for and the men of course for the women 40th in the world this is simply because they didn't go to malaysia maybe That's if they right. had gone to malaysia mm -hmm. i mean the ranking would have been higher so important. they had to go down to 40. they even ranked higher than 
the men in Nigeria. It, it, it works. <laughs> <laughs> See that. No, but, well, but, but again, uh, the rankings. Um, is, still the is, is second a, in yeah, Africa. Yeah, still the best. The second best in Africa. It's so another reminder women. that we need to do more for <laughs> uh, female table tennis in Nigeria. We listened to Arab Duke uh, the other day, vice president of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, and he's saying the same thing that look, the talents are there, but we need mm -hmm. more support. It even goes beyond supporting players. He mentioned coaches. You know, he also talked about developing more talents. Yeah. If the likes of Vivian are not cool, they're not seeing competition. Esther, Riba, Michelle, they're not seeing they're competition. They're just still um, what's, what's the younger? I have, I have, I have Anima Shaun. They're not Shown. playing games. Where, where, the, what does the future hold for them? Very, very important. So, this is a good one uh, for us. Let's see. Let's see what they can do. We're expecting the uh, Olympics. Let's see what can come out of that one. Yeah. Before then, the Lagos Open, of course, will come up. So, that's another good one for us to talk about table tennis. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's something that the Vice President of African Table Tennis Federation said, right. Ola Banjo, Ola Dabo, he says that the performance of the team is commendable, but the lack of support from the government may not mm. over well for the sport. Mm. He says, uh, considering the level of preparations, the performances were very surprising, yeah. but good, as they topped their highly competitive group, consisting of five tabletop tennis players in the world. So he now went further to say that the lack of effective preparations and stamina for the competitions affected them and caused the loss to India in the quarterfinal. Mm. Now, this is someone who is the vice president of ITT, I'm talking about International Table Tennis. And he's a Federation. Nigerian. He's a Nigerian. Mm. And you're having all your team are not there, just the men. Well, okay, uh, let's go straight to... That's you said viewable testimony yeah. is coming up, okay. right? Yeah, they're planning the testimony from our support. I don't Wisconsin. like the dates. <laughs> yeah, the 27th, why? That, 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 well... That's, that's my concern. Uh, a lot of things. I mean, since it has an actual pack to all those sports, a lot of things will be happening uh, on the 27th of May, one of them, the Channel's National Kids Cup final. But, but yes, what does... There are a lot of lessons out of this testimony that they they have decided to organize for Joseph Yobo. We keep saying it. I don't let our players live unceremoniously, particularly those <laughs> ones. Instagram you know, and Twitter. Are, this man led the team to win the 2013 African Cup of Nations in South Africa. Uh, about 100 caps for the country. He appeared 100 times wearing the jersey of the senior men's national team. Then you should get some honor. So uh, they've come together, ex internationals and his teammates. He played with Kanu, he played with JJ Okocha, um, Coach Abadu Shwaibu at some point coached him. Austin Eguavoin was also uh, present. Uh, there was Kristen Chuku, uh, his teammates. Ifa Inudeze was there. Of Fani course, Amu. Fanny Amu, Aisha, uh, Aisha Falodi. You know, a lot of people came out to say, look, we should be doing this. For our ex-internationals, so so the ones the ones coming up, we not see oh that oh you know there's the, nothing the, in for me. That's there's right, nothing you know, to give. That's right. So yeah. it's very encouraging. It's really really encouraging. I, I just want to see the personality that would definitely want to play that game. I had Rooney, yeah. likes of Rooney, Didier we, Drogba. Just a few of trying to keep it <laughs> keep it you know quiet, and then we we, we pushed him. We said, come on, tell us, <laughs> tell who, us. Are, who are the <laughs> big players we're expecting. <laughs> and I said, okay, we Rooney will be around. We listened to um. There, there was a video recording from Koloture. Uh, he actually said Potaku. He's coming to Potaku. <laughs> I don't know where that is in Nigeria. <laughs> but Koloture has confirmed that yeah. he will be around. Uh, he mentioned Wei Rooney. He mentioned David Moyes. David Moyes. Remember, just said he was the first player David Moyes signed mm -hmm. when Everton. he was coach at Everton. Everton so yeah. they've got, he's got so much love for Joseph Yoba. Joseph Yoba said, hey, the coach will be around also. And of course, he said Didier Drogba. Didier Drogba will be around. And it's going to be the world. Is some little piece coming? coming? Of course, it will come because I remember so Jerry Cano testimony. Yeah. Most of the world <laughs> ran for mm. for him. I think I actually love it. You know, first it was Cano Uncle, and now That's we're right. having Joseph Yobo. Mm. I wish Vincent here come back because I'm still very much missing Okocha, him. Remember. Yeah, Okocha, of course, in Delta State. Yeah. I remember it rained heavily that day. <laughs> but Potako is definitely going to be wonderful. That's but right. I think we just can't wait for some of those players who resign on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> you know, just come back. I mean, play two or three games for Nigeria, mm. and when you do that, then you can now, you know retire peacefully, call a press conference and you're leaving, then we'll also have a testimony for you guys. That's right. Because that's from the way it is now, I don't know if they're going to get it except their club will organize for them. No, but see, sometimes these players don't even look at this, you know, like... Um, but sometimes it, it's very, very important. Very important, particularly with when the you're national giving team. 100 cap for a national team, it how many players get that? It should be celebrated. I was, was tied with Vincent Yama before course. Vincent Yama made 101 uh, caps. And um, just imagine someone that has played the 101 times 
for his country is not celebrated. Got re got a goalkeeper resigned, at that. I'm like, resigned on, on social media and then it's just going to be forgotten that way. I think it's no, not. No, he like, announced like that said. he's quitting on Instagram. Say it like that. Well, well, on social media. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so, still, I agree with what you said. Um, those kind of players yeah. should be celebrated. Mm -hmm. They have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. they, they have a lot of... There's no way you can talk about the history or what Nigerian football has been through without mentioning mm -hmm. those sort of persons. So they are valuable materials for you know football in Nigeria. So we shouldn't just lose them uh, that way. I was so pleased when I saw Kanu Wako there. Austin Okocha was also there. Oh my God. Christian Chukwu. Henry Wilson also was there. Yeah. You know, Taribo West. Joseph Yobo told everyone, look, that's my mentor right there. I learned a lot from Taribo West. You know, and it's heartwarming, you know, where you still see the love. Peter Rufai was also there, you know. Austin Eguavon um, told the story of how Joseph Yobo brought a lot of, of discipline into the team. And I like it, and you could tell. He, he had a good career even for mm -hmm. club. Over 500 appearances as a good. footballer. Mm -hmm. Massive. How many players get that? Yeah. That's really wonderful. And I'm happy that this is actually coming. But I'm not happy with the dates because May 27th, will be at the channel's national kids couple of course going to be live on china's television so everyone will be watching that okay the next day we can just okay let me just take that from you <laughs> cecilia <laughs> quickly let's just uh quick update on the channel's national kids cup we told you we're getting ready for season eight of the competition and uh forms are now available for schools in lagos kids we're ready we're coming for you guys uh tell your house ma your games master your mm -hmm. proprietor your proprietor go to channels tv pick the forms if you cannot pick the forms from channels tv go to suburb office in maryland Pick the form. We cannot put the forms on the website. I'm saying, why can't we download the forms from the website? No, we cannot put the forms on the website because we need to monitor the persons picking up the form. So we have numbered those forms. You come, we register the school down. So we know we're expecting you to return the forms. Someone can just go to the website, download the forms, and then distribute it. And then we kind of monitor. So come to Channels TV headquarters in Sherry, North Lagos, or Suburb Office in Maryland. Pick the form. It's a call for entries for the Lagos preliminaries. We're so ready for Season 8 of the Channels National Kids Cup. Let's get it going, guys. Let's go now to um, our new studio. I don't know if Anne is ready for us, Cecilia, but uh, while we're getting Anne uh, ready? ready for the news, um, so much talks here about Marana Sharapova. We should um, commend Serena Williams for what she said. She said, look, this lady is a role model. Mm -hmm. She admires her courage, and that this is what everybody should do to keep the integrity of sport. Yeah, it says you know it, for someone to actually come out and say this is what I've done, and I'm actually taking full responsibility for it because uh, the, the most of the media there, I mean the reporters that were at the press conference that she heard in Los Angeles, they were asking her, "Are you going to fire your entire team?" Mm. And she says, "No." I mean. I have a very wonderful medical team and all that. Mm. I will take responsibility right. for whatever That's goes right. into my mouth. And the question that came up was like, okay, now, if you have a team that have supposed to be watching your back, I mean, these are some things they should be watching out for. But outside that, I listened to Dick Pound yesterday talking, talking about uh, the former WADA president. He said something that, look, before any drug is banned, they usually tell all athletes. Mm. Like, what happened in this case, on the 30th of September... That was when they actually told most of the athletes. Mm. So they have the whole of October, November, whatever they've been taking and keep off for that mm. time. Mm. Then when the ban comes out, then you know that, okay, at that particular time, you won't test positive to whatever you've taken prior to that time because then it was legal. But right now, it is no longer legal because what I, dis uh, what I discovered that, uh, look, Almost every athlete is, is, is having this in their blood sample. What's right. happening? They had to go do the research. And the end of they discovered so that, yes, mm. this thing, of course, there's a, a performance enhancer in it. And, of course, as a result of that, it has to be a banned substance. So it, it, it's really painful.